Hi guys and welcome back to your channel O'Neill's Aquascaping and today's aquarium algae guide topic is blue green algae or which is commonly termed as BGA or cyanobacteria and guys believe me this is the most terrible thing that I had to deal with during my entire aquascaping hobby and I've heard guys this could actually take over your entire tank since I was dealing with the same and I learned how to get rid of it, I thought why not share the same with all of you. And today I'll discuss with you how to treat this blue-green algae by the end of this video. Keep watching. What is blue-green algae? Blue-green algae is a bacteria but it can photosynthesize like a plant. It grows in thin layers. As they get thicker, they can be removed in slimy, smelly sheets. The most common variety in fresh water is a really vivid green but it can also be reddish or brown. However, in the, in the aquarium hobby, we know cyanobacteria as dark green, blue green to almost black coats on aquatic plants, decoration or the substrate. They feel slimy to touch and thus sometimes called slime algae. Now we'll talk about the causes of blue green algae. As with true algae, a nutrient imbalance may be the reason for an outbreak of cyanobacteria in a planted aquarium. In various cases, the reason for a highly elevated phosphate level, sometimes in combination with nitrogen deficiency, more specifically a nitrate deficiency. On the other hand, a regular water change is thus highly important to prevent this kind of nutrient spikes. I recommend to exchange around 50% of the aquarium volume per week. On the other hand, in a planted tank, a balanced nutrient supply is crucial for the healthy development of the plants. Quite frequently, CO2 and macronutrient NPK Deficiencies are the reason for the formation of algae. Now let's talk about how to treat blue-green algae. Blackouts are a popular treatment among planted tank enthusiasts. This means excluding all light from your aquarium for a certain period, often by taping black garbage bags over anywhere light can penetrate. Honestly, I use a black cloth to cover it all up this way. I do a blackout method. Remove as much as algae as you can. Do a 50% water change and clean your filters thoroughly. Black out your tank for 96 hours. Turn off your carbon dioxide if you use any and don't feed your fish. Uncover your tank. Repeat this 50% water change. Clean your tank and filters routine. Alternatively, I recommend a full treatment of your aquarium with hydrogen peroxide which I'll be doing a detailed video soon. And if you really don't want to miss that, hit the subscribe button right now and click the bell icon to receive notifications. So that's it for today. Hope to see you next time. Till then, stay safe and keep aquascaping. Bye-bye.